So, uh, Brother Rob is just, just uh, talking to these girls, he's, he's, he's giving out some literature to them that he's created himself, which is very good. Um, so we're just about to preach in, in uh, Bradford again, uh, just in a different location. But I'll, I'll, just, I'll just take it out of the camera just a second, just show you. So we've got that street there where people are coming and going from. Film that, and then, and from, uh, up, and from there as well. Yeah, all right then, do that, do, do that then. Oh, so, right. Yeah, just keep it like that. Don't press off. No, so I'm really pointing it at you because yeah, of the reverse. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not too, too, don't have to be too close. No, no, no. It's dynamic. That, that, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. Okay. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We come to tell you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have been sent by the living God to tell you how easy it is for you to be saved by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is, it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believes, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done. Please get serious because you're made in the image of God. That means you have an eternal spirit and soul inside you and you'll either find yourself in heaven or hell, depending on us, or whether you reject or accept the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did for us. Because you need saving and you need forgiveness of sin before God will accept you. Because the Bible says there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross, to shed his blood. That was God that died on the cross. God made into flesh that died on the cross for us. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried, and he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. And God's just looking at your heart, whether or not you will believe this, or you will reject it. Please don't reject the one and the only one. Jesus Christ, who can save your soul, and write your name in the book of life, write your name in heaven, save you with everlasting life, seal you with Holy Spirit of promise, set you apart as holy and sanctify you and justified you be justified before the god of the whole earth the moment you believe the testimony of god's only begotten son jesus christ because you need saving and you need forgiveness of sin if anyone says that he has no sin he deceives himself and the truth is not in him if anyone says that he has not sin he's calling god a liar because God says all have sinned, and I don't mind admitting it that I'm the chief sinner. I've done many terrible things. I've broken God's commandments. That's what sin is, the violation of God's commandments. Well, we have all sinned. Romans 3, 23. And we all come short of the glorious standard of God, from the glory of God. And the wages penalty of sin is death. Death, that means hell. This means for eternity, out of darkness. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everyone that believes. All who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and his sacrifice on the cross will be going to paradise, to heaven. Very soon, when the Lord himself descends from heaven and shouts with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive, all Christians which are alive and remain, and little children under the age of accountability will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air in what's commonly referred to as the rapture. The rapture will take place any moment, any moment, and this world is going to be turned upside down. Because all these people will suddenly vanish when the Lord Jesus Christ, the great God, the great and terrible God of this world, he snatches out of this world all who have believed on him, all who have believed on him will be changed in the twinkling of the eye. All Christians will pop off the mortal body and put on immortality and their corruptible, corruptible body will be changed into in incorruption and will be snatched up into heaven in a twinkling of the eye, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then this world will, will, will be turned upside down. All these people and children and babies will suddenly vanish when the rapture happens. This is written in the Holy Word of God. This isn't a movie. This is what it says in the Word of God. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. 
the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, the truth of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain will shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, the rapture, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And then this world is going to be turned upside down during the Great Tribulation Apocalypse period. Seven years called the Great Tribulation, Revelation, Apocalypse, Jacob's Trouble, Daniel's 70th week. At, Jesus, at the time Jesus said that would be so terrible, there's never been a time like it and then there will be again. Jesus said, Jesus said that men's hearts will faint from terror when they see what is coming upon this world. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Jesus Christ is coming. Cap, you said something in the atmosphere. Come on, don't forget the last few years. What, what we've seen, we've witnessed. These are signs of the It's not for that, guys. I'm sure you do play enough at home. Make you wake up. Wake up. Wake to righteousness. Don't think that this is just a day because your soul depends on it. These girls are, are mocking and laughing, but this is a very serious thing. God loves you. He's given you free will. He's given you a choice. You can either accept him. Jesus loves you. You can either accept what he did for you on that cross or you can reject him. And only find out how real hell is when you land there. I pray that you will not be one of those. In the name of Jesus Christ, all you that are listening, I pray that you'll listen exactly what I'm saying. Because Jesus Christ is coming, and then this world is in for a rude awakening. I'm telling you, world war shall erupt. The Bible says two billion people are going to lose their lives in the first part of the seven year tribulation. The world shall be turned upside down. Yeah. All right, I'll just leave it as a short one. Yeah, that's fine. Seven minutes and. Uh, yeah, what? It'd be interesting to watch it, see what it looks like dynamic. Yeah, well, yeah. So yeah, just something different. Enough. We'll just try and make things different for yeah, you. And that. you know, we've good got good this, we've got this designs like that. You probably, he's probably been viewing them as I've, I've been preaching, but I'll do another one or two maybe, and then it takes it out of me, you know. Mm. I really have to put my heart and soul into it. Anyway, thank you for all your prayers because I feel them being answered really powerfully. I, I really do. God bless you. Uh, we love you, don't we, don't we, Rob? We do. Yeah, hallelujah. We love Jesus as well. See you in the clouds. Enjoy.